Good morning, everybody. 645 January 12th, and it is warmer today than it's been the last few mornings. That's the best news that I have for you. Most of our temperatures are in the 30s above the freezing mark, so that is good news. There's a little bit of a wind chill, which pulls it down to the mid-20s, but that is 30 degrees warmer than it's been the last couple of mornings. We do have a couple of low pressure systems and a cold front that's going to be dropping in here. That creates some lift, and we may squeeze out some light rain or snow showers to the afternoon hours. Be really light stuff if we see it as we zoom into our area and take a look at a radar loop here. You'll see there's not much going on except those clouds thickening up. This is really light stuff. That's not making it to the surface. Further off to the west, uh, there's a little bit more precipitation, but that's going to take some time to get in here. And again, particularly this afternoon, maybe some light rain or snow showers or a mix in there, and that would be it. Temperatures 34 from Big Rapids, so not Big Rapids, but Battle Creek to Kalamazoo, 32 in Lawton, 32 on the north side of Kalamazoo. We have a temperature of 32 in Hastings. Fenville winemaking country, 37 degrees there. It's 37 in Holland to the north. We've got 33 in Cedar Springs and northern portions of Kent County. And further to the the north there's big rapids at 32 degrees so those temperatures already above our normal or average high temperature for this time of the year you strip off about 10 degrees from that that gives us the wind chill right now the winds are strongest right now and they're breezy but they'll come down as we go through the morning and the daytime hours here we're going to thicken the cloud cover up we'll call it mostly cloudy maybe some light rain or snow showers this afternoon and early evening temperatures almost steady about 36 degrees with a west southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour if we Look at the future track map. Cold front is going to be slicing on in here, and here comes a chance of those light rain or snow showers. Really light stuff if we see it. Uh, behind that front, just a switch in the wind direction. No really colder air to start, but that will change as we go through the animation here on the future track. Thursday, there's still going to be some lift in the atmosphere, so we may squeeze out some light snow showers, probably more just flurries than anything else. This is Thursday at 6 p.m. We get into uh, Thursday night into Friday. There's a much bigger system out here to our west. Look at all the heavy snow with that low pressure area that's going to dive down to the south and then come up the east coast. I will show you the track of that storm system in just a second in our Super 7 Day Planner, so hang on to that. As we look at that Super 7 Day Planner, we call it that because we can highlight any day we want and go out a little further in some detail, so let's do that. Maybe a dropper flake today, 36 degrees. Tomorrow we're 34, maybe a dropper flake in there as well, and by the time we get into Friday, the Arctic air comes back in here with temperatures only around 22 degrees. Let's pull out Friday and take a closer look at it. Here's the future track map and there is that storm system this is on Friday morning we'll put this in the motion this is going to dive down to the south it stays to our west and all that heavy snow misses us it goes way down into the deep south pulls up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and then it starts to work up into the mid-Atlantic and along the eastern seaboard. As we go through the animation later on Sunday, you can see that. Look at all the heavy snow there, and as we go into Monday, this is going to be a mess for the northeast United States. A very strong system. Look at those heavy dark blue bands of snow, and they're going to have wind with that as well. That's not going to be a pretty sight. So if your travel plans take you to the east coast or the mid-Atlantic on Sunday or Monday, you might want to stay up on later forecasts there. As we get into the uh, Saturday, a few flurries, otherwise partly sunny to mostly cloudy. Temperatures around 19 degrees. We'll start to warm up Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And while that big East Coast system misses us, we do have the chance of some snow showers, but there's no really well-defined systems that are going to bring us a lot of snow. And if we look beyond the scope of this seven-day forecast at the Climate Prediction Center temperature outlook for the 18th of January through January 25th, we've got a chance of colder temperatures below normal for the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. Best chance of warmer temperatures for that time period will be across the western third of the nation. So it looks like we will stay below normal in temperature for the remainder of January. No big surprise there. Maybe we can get that out of the way and then start to warm up a little bit by the time we get into February. But that's what the rest of the next seven days and beyond looks like here on our super seven day planner. It is 649. Time to take another look at traffic. Here's Rob.